Hey, it's Ed here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for S&P 500 with Elliott Wave Theory. Today our focus is going to be on this leg over here. I'm not going to be showing the macro picture at this moment again. Uh, nothing has changed. This can, if you've watched the previous videos, you know that this has the potential of being uh, the wave X, or we are going to be creating a structure like that as the end of a structure here. I think it was labeled wave Y on my other scenario, um, at which again we would be looking for one more push to the upside, taking our liquidities, uh, liquidity levels uh, up higher before we are turning again to the downside. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at this leg. Uh, overall, again, the overall idea has been that my Oh, the, my, my idea has been that uh, this has been a three-way structure. Again, a lot of people had this as a one, two, three for some reason. Uh, while it, it was possible, at least labeling like this, um, until yesterday. Uh, we took out the highs of wave A here. Uh, sorry, highs of wave one here with a possible wave four, and that is no longer the case. Now, one could say that what if we have a expanded flat here? I mean, sure, why not? Um, I, I can't say, like, I can't go too detail into all of the counts, but again, is this going to be very likely as a expanded flat with a diagonal at the end? I mean, it is possible, it's just not really there, they look. So for me, again, I'm still in that same idea that I've been for so long now that this is an ABC and we're looking for a pivot. Again, based on extensions, I did not have any any reason to believe this was a wave three? Um, is there a possible possibility where we are just doing this? For sure, of course. Uh, but for my for my test now or my count at the moment, that does not seem seem to be that likely, at least here as a as a wave four. So what do we have here more locally? Get rid of that. The bear count. This is more bearish, way more bearish. A diagonal here in wave one, three year pullback like we talked talked about. A one two potential one two here. Now this is a bit sketchy here, this structure over here. I was looking, this was very impulsive. Uh, I think there was an uh, end of a day rally here uh, that never got a really good partner leg to it. Again, sometimes these are very scammy and uh, well, not really reliable. Even here, we don't even get, I don't think we did get uh, too much farther than the uh, 0.6 from that, which again is the minimum. So again, we could have just a st structure like that. It's not pretty. But that's how we have to treat it now at this moment. I was originally looking for this as a third of this move here. Uh, why? Is because again, it looked decent. We had hit the 1.618 here at the lows, but as this took so long here, um, off hours basically, I think this was whole, whole thing was off hours here. So the extended, extended hours, regular is going to be look completely different. Maybe, maybe we have a, a third, fourth, and fifth here. Um, but again, at that point, again, we don't ha even have a visible one, two here. It would have to be a one, two here, three, four, five, maybe. At that point, again, we would have the wave three here. But the, what remains the same is this being a wave four. So again, however you want to be labeling this, this fits kind of in my book, this as the best. Wave four again is somewhat comparable to this two. Um, otherwise, it would be kind of too much, in my opinion, compared to that as a size. Not impossible, of course, but that's my opinion. Then we got another very impulsive move to the downside. We had a potential structure like that, and I was trying to go long here, uh, but it never got got back into the areas I wanted to go long from. So. Uh, I'm still on the shorts only at this point. Again, I did take profits. Why? Because we have divergences here. You can see clearly divergences. Oops, get back here. So divergences on RSI and and let's see if I can actually draw on it. There we go. Um, divergences on RSI, meaning that, okay, something is about to end. There might be a change of structure here soon. For that to happen, we would need to take out these highs. Does it mean that we need to be turning bullish at these highs? No, it does not. Why is that again? Because again, we might be looking for another wave four. This definitely could be a structure like that coming up 
taking out the liquidity that we have here uh, created as we did not take it here. So we basically have, have almost a double top at the moment here, which certainly has some kind of liquidity level at this point. Um, I do still like the idea that the wave four has to come up, up a bit. Um, if we go any, anywhere beyond this 0.5 too much and close above it and show some kind of consolidation area, or well, consolidations to the upside, then we could be determining that this might be something else. This might be more of a bull account that we wanted it to. At this point again, wave four here, and then wave five. Wave five target, if neither, or if, if the wave five does not extend 23, uh, 36 or 2.236 extension, 4,028. Of course, we could be comparing it against this wave one here as well, and looking for a uh, some, some of the uh, confluence that we get. But again, for that, we need to see where and if this pivots. Um, but yeah, I still have my stops brought up uh, somewhere here now. And I'm going to be keeping on those shorts until I see a change of character of some sort in the market structure and, and that I don't like it anymore as a bearish option. But for now, this looks still very decent. Bull count, however, is saying the exact same thing. One, two, three, four, five. This is definitely possible. This is again getting right into that 1.618 or just just slightly um, missing it. Where, uh, let's see if I can figure it out. So there we go. Where again, this 1.618 this is definitely one of the targets for what we see. It's not the best target, but it's still there. If we are going to be getting an impulse, impulsive structure here, starting to take out the market structure here, then we can be looking for continuation to the upside. Whether this is again a continuation of that higher, higher time frame trend of this, uh, whether it's a wave four, which again would be very odd with this, um, or it would be some kind of a larger or part of a larger correction to the downside here, for example, based on the WXY idea, uh, we don't know of that yet. Uh, if we want to be thinking that where this might come back to, we have not even hit the 38.2 here, which is something that I definitely want to be seeing. We got close here, but I really like the 38.2 hits here first before I'm thinking any kind of move to the upside, um, at least beyond here. So. It can stagger around here and take one more low here and then we would be creating a three wave. And again, if it is a three wave structure coming to the downside, we're going to go with the higher time frame trend, which is up upwards. This would fit the WXY count. But again, this is the most important structure now here. If we are going to be getting another leg downwards, I, I think it looks very decent as a five way move as a one, two, three, four, five. So at that point, my expectation is that we are going to be getting another three up and then another five down. Of course, it is possible, as mentioned before on the previous video, where this is going to be a ABC like that, and we create a structure like that instead, and then get a partner leg for it on the upside. But for, for now, I think this is the best idea that I have, where we get that fifth leg down and then create a structure like that. That way we can get to the more common extension line area, or sorry, the retracement areas, 618 and so on with this idea. And then we can get that one more high. This is going to be kind of different on Dow, uh, which I made a video on the Patreon, but, um, but yeah, that is definitely some expectations that I have here. I think those are the outlooks for now on S&P 500 on this indice, indice and uh, Again, if you want to educate yourself and support me, check out the following advertisements. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Couple of advertisements here, Patreon Elite Wave Basics course, weekly live streams and more Elite Wave analyzers. Udemy Elite Wave Advanced course, including RSI, risk management, Elite Wave strategies and time analyzers, and candle trend capital, trade setups, education and community. Check us out if you're interested in learning more.